it would be highly remiss of me to not thank with such deep gratitude those who have blessed me and afforded me the opportunities I've had in life. Each and every day I strive for the Master's will over my heart bell because this is not a walk I wanted to be part of. However, when your Uncle Sam makes certain requirements and you're bound by certain agreements you have to do. But when I think of the countless missions I've been on for this country over the last five, six decades as either a humanitarian, a fact finder, um, an advisor, um, someone carrying diplomatic status or diplomatic messages on behalf of our government or our other governments back or, or being the voice for other governments to our government or back <sighs> all the way to being the voice for video games and weapons of mass destruction I don't regret having the knowledge of and having done but at some point when you realize the totality of it, if you continue to be consumed by the materials that can come with uh, the attributes of what you do, at what point you compromise your own moral values? The question every broadcaster has to ask themselves at some point if they have any moral character whatsoever. Actors, when they take on certain roles, especially the early if ones. As a world, as a society, if you can imagine it, we've already done it. What many things are science fictions are not. Much more is possible than you've been led to believe or you can imagine. But do your own research. Google the things you're curious about. You'll find a lot of conspiracy theories aren't theories, and they're not conspiracies, they really are happening. The Harp Project, harp.net, H-A-A, H-A-A-R-P.net. Plant Deck Plant, Amarillo, Texas. 20 miles deep, 60 miles wide. Underground facility for warfare. <clears throat> <clears throat> Tip to people around the world. If you hope to survive the short effects of World War III, start studying all types of old architecture and drawings and renderings and prints you can find of underground tunnels, aqueducts, or ways to deep undergrounds that might preserve your life in the event of a war. Know how to get there quickly. Don't be paranoid, be prepared. There's a huge difference. Reaction, once a war breaks out, is the worst thing to happen. That's a time to be moving into solid, safe places quickly. I don't know about the rest of the world, but with the amount of military overpasses and flights that keep increasing on an almost daily basis over the last couple of years in Southern California, if you didn't know we had military here, you sure as hell do now. Some of their latest technologies that you see in movies that you wouldn't have even seen outside of war, you've seen flying over the shores of Southern California. been an eye-opener for a lot of tourists. Don't be saying, what is that stuff? Uh, let me just say, 
I have been proud for years to be an American. Right now I'm disgusted. The moral decay in this country, the self-indulgence, self-seeking, the abuse of others, the reckless intentions, the empty words and promises, the meaningless conversations, the psychobabble, and all about someone's own indulgences and needs. Most of the time, nothing even to do with relevance to the world or me or how anybody else can benefit. Sadly, even some of the most desperate people in the streets will get stuff and then ask for more instead of saying thank you. It saddens me to see how this country has turned from a country built up pride to a country overindulgent, undereducated, and very ignorant to a lot of facts, quick to judge others, but see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil when it's certain people, places, or things, because <sighs> that might come back on me and that could not be good. Wake up, sheeple. Take a stand for peace. Or not. It's your eternity or not.